all right what's going on guys six shot here and dude get a grip i'm allowed to check out other people's profiles because i'm smart cute and cool you're ugly and not very smart so it's quite creepy for you to do it also i don't need to provide evidence i don't care if i convince you or not i just like talking crap to morons like you and i got a question for you man do you even hear yourself you sound like an absolute crumb. You sound like the stereotypical high school bully in a, in a high school based musical. I don't know what gets in these people's heads that just makes them think that they're the CEO of life, but it really is kind of sad. Because with these people, honestly, it's just a perpetrating cycle of negativity. They're unhappy with their life and they refuse to make a change to actually better their quality of living. So instead of helping themselves, they just choose to drag everyone down around them. And they actually admit that in this tweet with the final line saying, I don't care if I convince you or not. I just like talking crap to you people you're literally admitting that you only do this stuff to get your frustration out because you don't know how else to get it out in any other manner and you know i'm thinking there's two alternative paths here either a you got the biggest ego on the planet you know gassing yourself up with the whole like oh i'm cute and cool and everything like that or there's route b where you're actually very very insecure and you're just saying these things to try and make people believe it but in reality you don't believe it yourself and you know it is really sad that we will live in a world where people unironically wake up and their first priority of the day is talking crap on twitter like these people wonder why they wake up feeling how they do every single day but then you look at their lifestyle and you're just like well no wonder why man you're literally waking up with the sole purpose of talking crap to people on twitter and you know i feel really bad for people who live with people or have even dated people with the same mindset of like oh i'm better than you so i get to talk crap to you because like you know they're not trying to uplift you they're not trying to make you feel better about yourself they're not helping you they're just cutting you down and making you feel like garbage that's why you need to get away with them these people think talking smack is all fun and games up until everyone around them abandons them and they only have themselves and their own sadness and then the negativity consumes them because they have no one else to take it out on and then that's when they realize wow I am an absolute crumb. Like, actually think about what you're doing, man. You're going out of your way to ruin someone's day that you don't even know, but you're going out of your way to ruin their day over an argument on Twitter. I wouldn't even say it's an argument. You're just spitting insults like an absolute child. So if you happen to be watching this and you're either A, this original guy, or B, you have a similar mindset to him, actually listen to what I'm about to say because I think you need to hear it. Stop treating people around you like garbage, for one, and actually notice mannerisms and patterns about yourself that you don't like, and start changing them. Like, actually work on becoming a better human being, and then start helping those around you. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. But there is progress that is happening, and you will see it. Because I promise you, man, your memory being a blessing is going to feel far better than it being a curse. Like, do you want to be that guy that where when you walk in a room, everyone rolls their eyes and goes, oh, great, this idiot's here. Or do you want to be the guy with where you, when you walk in a room, they'll say, hey, it's this guy. God bless. Finally, room finally got entertaining. You get what I'm saying? You want to be a blessing or a curse when you die. I'd rather be remembered as a blessing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call it here. Dude, stop being a curse to everyone around you. Because one day it's going to backfire and you're going to end up all alone with nobody on your side. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Been sick shot, guys. Later.